One way to understand it is, like, everyone knows what a photograph or a video looks like. And in what people are calling VR today, there's like a video screen that's sort of split in two, and you're looking at two flat screens. But in the real world, in visual reality, there's this interaction with the light field. The world is a very complex, dynamic light field. The world's not really a hologram, it's, it's even more complicated. It's like a moving hologram bouncing off everything, that's what we call a light field. So we're replicating that. And that's really the language of the brain. We all evolved to have a brain that inter interfaces really with light fields which are dynamic, and it's what our biology is expecting. So a good way to think of it is like if Jonathan had no atoms, I would still see him here because um, his light field would be emanating. Is that so, different from a hologram though? Um, think of a hologram as like freezing a light field and visual reality is these light fields are moving and dynamic and alive and that live interaction with your brain and your eyes which are dynamically responding to that dynamic light field, that creates our current perception of visual reality and our goal is to recreate that as completely as possible which is the most human way to understand visual reality, the most natural way to do it. Quite different from looking at a video screen or a photograph or putting two video screens in front of your eyes, it's a lot closer to what we're doing right now.